Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different and uh, if you're one of my subscribers you may or may not be interested in this because it's a uh, it's something that can be used in the in a field like electrical work or construction work or something. And what it is, it's a math formula solving proportions and ratios. I'm gonna have a uh, six problems here, six examples of using it. And the first three just go over the basic uh, uh, function of it, more or less the finding percentages and the is over of, which is the easiest way to memorize this. And the fourth one looks at a transformer calculating the input and output voltages on a step up transformer with a 1 to 10 ratio. And the fifth problem deals with proportion, which the example is mixing, like how much of a concentrated cleaner would be mixed in with a gallon of water. And I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. So let's get started here. Now we're looking at the first problem here. It says what is 10% of 75? And the first thing you got to remember is is over of. So what is, you don't know what the is is, so that'd be represented as x. As you see here, and the of is 75, so you write x over 75, is over of. And the next thing, you do an equals, then you do your percentage. And like 10% as a fraction is 10 over 100. So now we've got the basic, uh, I guess you call it a formula set up. Then the next thing you do is you cross multiply. As you see here, you do uh, 100 times x, where x times 100, and it comes out to 100x. And you get equals 75 times 10, and which comes out to 750. Then the next step, you need to get x by itself, so you divide both sides by 100. Because anytime you do, do something on one side of an equal sign, you have to do the same thing on the other side. Then you get your answer, x equals 7.5. So 7.5 is 10% of 75. And if you look on the right here, I show how to check it. What you do, you take your original is over of formula, where it has the x over 75, and you fill in your answer where the x would be, then you cross multiply, and you see you get 750 going both ways, so you know your answer is right. Now if you come out with one higher or lower than the other one, then you did something wrong with your math. That's an easy way to check it. Now there's another way you can do this percentage here. You can convert your percentage to a decimal, then uh, which what you do is if it's 10%, you move it once to so it'd be 1.0, then you move it again to the left, it'd be 0.1. Then you multiply the of number, which in this case is 75. You multiply it by the decimal and you come up with 7.5, the same as solving it through the uh, proportions formula. And this is only true with percentages, not other proportions and ratios. So now let's look at some more examples of this. Now the second problem we're looking at is uh, trying to find the of number. It says 14 is 28% of what? So the way you'd write this, since you know the is now, which is 14, you write 14 over x. And your percentage again is 28 over 100. Now we cross multiply. twenty eight x equals fourteen hundred and you see the yellow line there says fourteen times a hundred equals fourteen hundred and twenty eight x then you take it over to the next and you divide by twenty eight to get x by itself and you do the divide by twenty eight on both sides so you get x equals fifty and again you see on the right on how to check it here you just fill in the the, the x or the blank whatever you want to call it and you get fourteen times a hundred equals 1400 and 28 times 50 equals 1400 so since both answers come out the same you know you got it right now the only time you're going to have a, a variance in the uh, the uh, two numbers there and you still be right is if you have a, a decimal and you round up or round down then that's going to you might like if this, this was the case here you might come up with 1399.8 or something like that then you know it's close enough to 1400 so you know you're right now this next problem, number three, is uh, finding the percentage. So you know two numbers, and uh, you're trying to find what percentage it is. So 12 is what percentage of 30? So you'd have 12 out of 30, or 12 over 30, which is is over of, as you see here. So you'd have 12 over 30 equal to x over 100, 
because we don't know the percentage but we know since it is a percentage it's over it's going to be a fraction over 100. so now you do the same cross multiplying and you get 30x equals to 1200 then you divide both sides by 30 to get x by itself and you 1200 divided by 30 is 40 so you get x is equal to 40. so in other words 12 is 40 percent of 30. now another way to do this which is actually a lot more simple but the point of this video is to show you how to set up proportions but on percentages like this it's usually easier just to take the 12 and divide it by 30 you'll get 0.40 then you move your decimal point two places to the right and that's your percentage so we come out to 40 percent then again i'll show you here how to uh how to check it and you just fill in the x with the 40 and you're getting 1200 on both sides so you know your answer is right the problem number four here is a little more practical and I'm actually a journeyman electrician, so I can relate to this. It's uh, something you'll run into a lot of times. You need to calculate it. This one's pretty simple since it's a uh, 1 to 10. Anytime you have a number of 1 on a ratio, it makes it real simple to do a proportion like this. So uh, where it comes in more handy is if you have like a 3 to 5 ratio or something like that, which you're not going to usually see. So uh, the, the problem is 120 volts is applied to the input or the primary of a step-up transformer with a ratio of 1 to 10. What is the output voltage on the secondary? Now you may or may not know how transformers work but a step-up will take a low voltage and transform it into a higher voltage and a step-down transformer will do the opposite. It takes a high voltage and converts it to a low voltage. A good example is a transformer that's feeding your house. You usually have 10 to 15,000 volts coming in on the primary you have 240 and 110 coming out the secondary feeding your house. So that gives you a practical example of how this would work. Now how you set this problem up is since it's a step up we know the input voltage will be less than the output so the 120 will go in on the one side of the ratio on the transformer with the X voltage or the unknown voltage coming out of the 10 side and it looks like this when you set the problem up. You have your ratio of 1 to 10 and it's equal to 120 over x. Since it's a step up and you're given the input voltage, you know that the one, the top part of it's going to be the low number, and the bottom is going to be the high. So the, so you know the one to 10, but you don't know what the 120 is being transformed into. So now you cross multiply again, and you come up with one x equals 1200. When you have a formula like this with one, it makes it real easy because you're just dividing by one. And you can also do this in your head and just say it uh, 10 times 120 is 1200. But uh, like I said, a uh, better example, which I didn't show, would be like a 3 to 5 ratio or something like that. But that's just giving you a practical uh, application of it, more or less. So the output on the secondary would be 1200 volts. And again, you can check it by filling in and you're getting 1200 on both sides, so you know it's right. If you have a different number on one side, you... Uh, messed up a calculation somewhere. Now this fifth problem is another more practical application of it and this is dealing with an actual proportion. A good example of this would be like an engine degreaser or a household cleaning product. It says uh, a cleaner says to mix one part cleaner to three parts water. If you have one gallon of water how many ounces of cleaner do you add to the water? And obviously you're going to have more than one gallon total with this after you add the uh, cleaner to it. The first thing to make it easier to solve is to know how many ounces is in a gallon. And this is the US, so it's 128 ounces in one US gallon. And your ratio in this formula would be one to three. So to set it up, you put one to three, which uh, in this case would be the cleaner on top and the water on the bottom is equal to X over 128. Now we're solving for ounces here. The cleaner's on top, we know the ratio is 1 to 3, but we don't know what the cleaner is, so that's an X. And the water, we know is 3 parts water, and we know we've got 128 ounces of water starting out. Then again, you cross multiply, and you get 3X equals 128. Then you divide both sides by 3, you get the X by itself, and you come out with X equals 42.6. And in a situation like this, where it's not real, real critical, you probably just round up to 43 or just say 42 because it's not that critical but if you're doing something that needs to be more precise uh, 
you would measure out to 0.6 like if you're mixing up a paint or something like that and again to check it you just fill in the x with the answer and you get 128 when you cross multiply both sides so you know your answer is right and problem number six you're measuring distances on a map and you measure six inches between two locations the map scale says one and a quarter inches or 1.25 inches is equal to 25 miles what is the distance between the two locations in miles? So your scale ratio would be 1.25 to 25. And that ratio sounds more like a gear ratio that you would hear in a transmission. And I have seen like an inch or inch and a half uh, uh, ratio on maps and stuff before. So that's just, so again, you just set it up with the uh, 1.25 to 25, which is your inches over the miles. And uh, you know you measured six inches, so the six goes on the top, the same as the inches on the ratio. And you're trying to find the miles, so you represent that with an x, and you cross multiply again. And you take 1.25 times x, and you equal it to 25 times six, so you get 1.25 x equals 150. And you take that and divide both sides by 1.25 to get x by itself, and you come out with x equals 120. So the distance between the two locations would be 120 miles. And again, you can see the formula on the right here to check it. You just plug in 120 where the X is. When you cross multiply, you get to 1.25 times 120 is 150. And 6 times 25 is 150. And you're getting it both the same, so you know your answer is right. I hope this video has helped you understand the proportion and ratios formula. Uh, I remember back in school, I always looked forward to when they did this because I always enjoyed doing it. It was kind of fun, I think. I'm not an expert in math or anything, and I always had problems with division. But uh, doing stuff like this, it's best to have a calculator on hand uh, just to double check everything, make it easier. But you can do it without a calculator if you need to. So, and I'll be back on small engine repair here pretty soon, electrical videos and stuff like that. So, Stay tuned for that, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.